An investigation into the cost of prescription drugs reveals huge price hikes over the past five years. Several brand name medications more than doubled in price. The Reuters analysis of the 10 most popular drugs found the increases added billions to the nation's health care spending for conditions like arthritis, asthma, and abnormal cholesterol. Lisa Gill follows prescription drugs for Consumer Reports. Lisa, good morning. Hello, thanks for having me here. So, Let's go through this. What type of drugs are we talking about and how much is the increase? We are talking about some pretty intense, sometimes life-saving medications, things like rheumatoid arthritis, drugs like Humira, Embril, uh, for drugs that treat Crohn's disease and psoriasis. I mean, it's pretty serious stuff. The increases are dramatic. Humira went up 126%. There are very few other consumer products that go up as So much. if it goes up 126%, how much is that in real dollars? Right. So for consumers, it's hard to say. They sometimes only feel some pocketbook pain uh, coming, you know, at the point of when they actually fill the prescription. But that pain is very real. When, oh, yeah. when these prices go up, we can see consumers don't fill prescriptions like they should. They don't take them like they should. Or they do other things. They, they don't buy groceries. Mm -hmm. They may not go out to dinner with their families. There's a lot of things they'll cut out in order to try to pay for the medications. It's and they're serious. able to do this how and why? So drug companies can basically set whatever price they want. And that is that is one issue that, that we've, we've really struggled with. In, in some cases, uh, there are the, the list that, that is, uh, Reuters pulled out mm -hmm. shows that these medications, some of them, there are alternatives. So Crestor is a good example. Crestor is a medication to lower cholesterol. There are, there are several actually really cheap you know, drugs you can get at Walmart, Walgreens, Kmart, Target, just for pennies on the dollar. Nexium, another one mm -hmm. that increased, drug, the purple pill. Well, you can also buy that. Farmers responding to you. Farmers responding. Right, mm -hmm. right, right. To, to, you know, you can buy those drugs over the counter. These other yeah. ones, though, there are very few other options, and that's that's what has really cornered Americans and not not really being able to to find mm -hmm. better choices. This, qu this qu go ahead, Charlie. No, you go. <laughs> this quote from Pharma, focusing solely on the list of prices of medicine is misleading because it ignores the sure. significant discounts and rebates negotiated by insurers and pharmacy benefit managers. Right. Big, big Pharma really hates it when you focus on the wholesaler acquisition cost, the WAC price, which is what this analysis came from. And they'll say that these rebates and discounts, they're, the industry average is about 20 percent less, that, that price that you're looking at. But the impact on consumers is real. So it, it still translates to increased prices. It still translates to insurance companies and programs like Medicare and Medicaid, our government programs, paying more money. So there's, it's a, it's a, they have a good point. But it also shows us how little we actually understand about drug prices. Oh, yeah. That is completely, it's a lot of backroom deals that we can't see what's going on. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Good to see you, Lisa.